Hi guys, welcome to Python Tutorials series. In this video, I would like to discuss higher order functions in Python. What is a higher order function? A higher order function is a function that does one or both of the following. It takes another function as an input or returns a function as an input or it takes another function as an input as well as returns a function as output. Higher order function is a function that takes another function as an input or returns a function as an output or it takes another function as an input as well as returns a function as an output guys. Let's understand with example. Here you can see I have created a greet function which takes say hello as an input function. Here is a say hello function guys. We are passing say hello to greet function. So this function is a higher order function. Higher order function is a function that takes another function as an input. Let's understand it with demo guys. Here I have python idealishl and the python file open. I want to create a greet function which is going to return hello have a great day. Here I am defining the greet function you see greet function. It is going to return hello plus have a great day. Now if I call the greet function we don't see any output because we have to use the print function right. So here I give greet to print. So greet function is called here. It returns hello have a great day in this place. Print function displays that. If I save this and say run module you see we are seeing the output hello have a great day. Now this hello what I do I am going to return it from another function. I say def define say hello function. I am defining another function. Its responsibility is returning the hello. Returning hello. And in this place, okay, in this place, I am going to call say underscore hello. Now what happens? Now what happens, guys? Of course, greet function is called. Say hello is called. It returns hello in this place. Hello have a great day is written in this place. Print function displays again hello have a great day right. If I save it and say run module you see hello have a great day is displayed right. Now instead of calling the say hello function what I do here I pass say hello function to greet function ok. While calling the greet function I am passing say hello function which I take in the parameter called func or function func. And instead of saying here say hello, I say func. So what happens here? Greet function is called. Okay. Say hello is assigned to func. That means func is going to act like a say hello here. So what happens here? Say hello function is called. It returns hello in this place. And greet function returns hello have a great day in this place. Again print function displays hello have a great day. If I save this and say run module, you see we are getting hello have a great day. So what is greet function? greet function is taking another function as an input right. So it is a higher order function guys. A function can accept another function as an input guys. So that's actually called as higher order function. As I told higher order function is a function that takes another function as an input or returns a function as output. So now what I do here I go back I go back here. This time once again I will explain step by step so that you get clear idea guys. Again I am defining the greet function. Okay. What it is going to do? It is going to return. It is going to return hello plus have a great day. Right. If I come here and say print greet. So what happens here? Of course greet function is called. It returns hello have a great day in this place. So print function displays again hello have a great day. I save it and say run module. You see hello have a great day is displayed right. Now what I do instead of defining the function outside or above the greet function here I create a function inside the greet function. So I am defining say underscore hello function inside the greet function. And what is its responsibility? Its responsibility is returning returning this complete thing control x and paste here. Hello, have a great day. 
Okay, this time say hello is going to return hello, have a great day. Now, what is the responsibility of the greet function? When greet function is called, it is going to define a say hello function. This say hello function I am going to return from the greet function. So, what greet function is going to do? Instead of returning hello, have a great day, it returns the say hello function, which in turn returns hello, have a great day. Now, what I can do? Instead of calling the greet function here, Okay, I am going to create a variable called func and I assign greet. Now what happens guys? Now what happens here? Of course, greet function is called. Okay, it defines the say hello. Just defines the say hello and returns say hello in this place. Returns say hello in this place. That means the func is going to act like a say hello. So here I am going to call the func function. So when I call the func function, it is going to call say hello it returns hello have a great day in this place and print function displays hello have a great day if i save it and say run module you see we are getting hello have a great day so what is the greet function is greet function is a higher order function it is actually returning another function here so what is a higher order function higher order function is a function that takes another function as an input or returns a function as output so here say hello we are passing right say hello we are passing as as a input to greet function so greet function is a higher order function guys and in this in this example here the greet function is returning say hello function is returning say hello function so it is a higher order function guys so remember higher order function works with other functions guys it can take a function or return a function or it can do both guys i hope you guys have clearly understood i hope you guys have clearly understood what are higher order functions in python i suggest you people to execute these codes one or two times okay if you still have any doubts feel free to put them in the comment section i'll be happy to clear guys in the upcoming video tutorials we discuss more about python in depth step by step for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep coding keep sharing Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.